Uh, I'm Mike Phillips. I'm a professor of interdisciplinary arts at the University of Plymouth, and I run a research group called IDAT. Oh, well, the bit of this building that I think is going to have the massive impact on everybody, uh, students, uh, visitors, um, the whole of Plymouth actually, is the dome itself. Uh, this is a remarkable piece of engineering, uh, both in terms of the particular installation that's here at Rio, but also just in terms of the history of full dome environments. It's going to be pretty cool. The impact of this dome on the region and, well, actually the, the international community, I mean, let's just move out of Plymouth and, and start talking about the global impact of a dome like this. There is only one like it, which is the one in Montreal. Uh, every other dome, more or less, in the world uh, is a kind of seating dome. It has numerous seating uh, seats laid out for audiences to come and uh, view the content. This dome allows us to do performances, it allows us to do experimental research, it has an incredible impact on the audiences and also the kind of developers and producers of full dome content. And that is goes beyond full dome as well into the entire immersive sphere. For our students at the University of Plymouth, uh, this dome in one sense is an extension of the research that we're doing already. Um, we have the Immersive Media Lab at the University and we also have the Immersive Vision Theatre and you can see there's a lot of immersive in all of this. Uh, but this dome gives a real professional context. It also gives that international outreach that our students will be able to capitalise on. Uh, it brings us into touch with uh, real communities of developers and I think uh, for them it'll create new horizons. Well, I think the first thing you do when you enter a dome is to wander around in a state of shock and awe, just staring at the infinity of the full dome itself. I mean, these, these things go on forever. Uh, you know, it's, it's not just being, oh my God, it's full of stars, which of course is the quote from uh, the, the uh, 2001 uh, you know, Space Odyssey. Uh, but th th these things are incredible environments, just acoustically, visually, and that's just when they're empty. So when you start filling that uh, space with incredible immersive experiences, uh, I, it's, it, it's, in one sense, it's quite difficult to know where to start when you're making content for this because it really sort of disrupts the whole concept of, of film and video into a 360 environment. Um, and this dome here as well offers a real unique kind of uh, volume for that in that it, it comes around 210 degrees rather than the standard 180 degrees. So the idea of thinking in a bubble, in a sphere, is going to be uh, revolutionary, I think, to the way that they think about media content.